So if you're somebody that streams directly from your Xbox console, but you want to be able to have overlays so that way your stream looks more professional, in this video, I'm actually going to walk you through how you can do just that utilizing Lightstream, which is now a free platform that's built inside of the Xbox console that's going to allow you to get overlays as well as stream to all other platforms without the need of an expensive capture card or a PC. So in order for you to set this up, you are going to have to have either a cell phone, a tablet, or some kind of computer so that way you can set up your overlays and your alerts. And so what we're going to do is head on over to this website, golightstream.com. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that way you can go directly to this page. And so what we're going to do from here is click on start streaming. Now we should then be brought to this particular screen right here, which is the Lightstream Studio login page. And we're gonna log in with our Twitch account. Once you're logged in with your Twitch account, you should then be brought to this particular screen right here. And so only thing you can do is you can just go ahead and click on join, unless you wanna have a microphone or a camera that you wanna connect. But you do not need to do that now because you can actually do this through your Xbox if you choose to do so. So go ahead and click join and you should then be met with a screen that looks somewhat similar to this. And so what we're going to do from here to add in our overlays is we're going to come to the right hand corner and we're going to click on this icon right here. So what this brings up is our intros, our intermissions, as well as our outro scenes. So you actually have the option to go ahead and choose these and put them inside of your hotbar. So that way, whenever you have to switch scenes, you can actually do so from either your cell phone, your tablet or your computer. So you have six options that's available to you built in from Lightstream completely for free. So you can click on this, got this. And you can just go through each and every one of them to see which one you like. I'm actually going to go with this purple one right here for the intermission. I'm going to do the same thing. And then for the outro, I'm going to do the same thing. And so what you're going to do from here is come down to the hot bar at the bottom and you can just click on whichever one that you choose and it's going to toggle it between those options. And then if you want to take that screen away to go to your main scene, you just have to click on it again to take that uh, scene away and to get back to gaming. Now from here, what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit and you will see that it provides some options for your Twitch alerts. If you don't have any type of um, customized alerts that you want to add or anything like that, and you just want to use the built in alerts from Lightstream Studio, you can go ahead and just toggle this on. And once you toggle it on, you will see that there's some little icons that pop up from each one. You can just click on it and the standard animation will pop up for a new follower, for a new subscriber, new raider, so on and so forth. Now you will also see that you have an option to change the position from where you want your alerts to be. So you have two options. You have the top middle or you have the bottom middle. Personally, I like mine at the top middle, so that's what I'm gonna go with. And so now we're gonna come down to our overlays. Okay, so if you're someone that is looking for amazing overlays to have for your stream, then I would highly recommend checking out Hexium. Now this video is not sponsored by Hexium whatsoever, but Hexium does offer a wide variety range of different types of overlays, alerts, transitions, panels, and so much more. And they do have a free section as well. In fact, for this particular video, we're actually going to be checking out this free overlay right here. So if you actually want to download one of these overlays, I will leave a link in the description below so that we can go directly to this page and you can check out some overlays to add for your stream. Okay, so once you've downloaded your overlays, there's two things that you can do. The very first one is clicking on this plus image icon and you will be able to actually drop all of your overlays right here in this box. So for me, I already have my overlays right here. So what I can do here is I can just drag all of these into my box and you will see that I have all of the files that I need. So I can just click on upload all six and every last upload will then show up right here for me to use. Now, the second way on how to upload your overlays would be to coming right here and opening up Exola. 
Now with the Exola Creator account, this is where you can go to create your alerts, your widgets, um, any additional screen overlays or anything that you want to have for your stream. So what we're gonna do is click on Twitch and then we're gonna be brought to a page that looks similar to this. Now, what you're gonna to have to do, of course, before you reach this page is sign up. So once you sign up, once you put all your information in, you will then be brought to this home screen right here. So what you're gonna do is come down to overlay and this is where you're gonna to go to add in your widgets. So you're gonna click add overlay. You're gonna give your overlay a name. So I'm just gonna put overlay. And so from here, you have a lot of options. So if you wanted to, to have like a background, you can do that. You can select one of these and it's gonna be like the actual background of your uh, Twitch channel. But what I'm gonna do is leave mine completely blank as transparent and I'm gonna click create overlay. So in here, you're gonna click the plus icon and you will see that you can add video for like any type of animated um, overlays. You can do static overlays, so by pressing image, and then if you have any type of widgets, goals, banners, alerts, events, goals, and I said goals twice. I said goals twice. But you'll be able to add anything you want for your overlays. So let's say, for example, we want to add a webcam overlay. What we're gonna do is come up to image, and then we're going to press upload, and then you're gonna wanna find your your webcam overlay. So for me, my overlays are right here. So I'm gonna click on webcam, I'm gonna import this. And then you're gonna to want to find where this best fits you. Now, inside of Lightstream, you can only have your camera in three places. You can either have it on the top right, the top left, or the lower left. For some reason, I do not know why, but you cannot add it to the lower right. I've tried many times and it just would not work. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring this over and then bring it down a little bit. And I'm gonna click URL and we're gonna bring back into Lightstream and we're gonna see if this works. So for me, I'm gonna click on my widget here, edit and you're going to paste your URL right here and you're going to just click save. So now if I were to turn on my camera, I should be aligned inside of here. So let's test it out. Yo, it actually works. Okay. Now I'm not like totally aligned um, just yet in this, but we can actually go ahead and uh, we can fix that. Okay. There we go. It's fixed. And so we now officially have our webcam inside the live stream studio. And so really quickly, if you wanted to do like a just chatting scene where you're just showing your face, then what you can do, um, you can actually just click on where it says on stage and you will full size your camera. And then you can always just click on the uh, webcam overlay to make it disappear. And you're a full screen now inside of Lightstream Studio. So therefore you can have like a just chatting scene for when you're playing on your Xbox. And so that is how you're able to import your custom overlays. But now we're gonna add in our custom alerts. Okay, so to add in the alert, what we're gonna do is come up to the plus icon. We're gonna come down to where it says alerts, and then you now will have the option to customize how you want your alerts to look. So you can do one for follows, for tips, subscriptions, resubscriptions, so on and so forth. So what you're gonna do is click on this arrow and then it's gonna provide you with everything that you can customize. So you can do the street, you can do the name for the message line, the actual message itself. If you wanna actually have this in there, you can. If not, you can just have the name of the person. You can upload any type of media clip that you want, whether it be animated or a static image for your follower overlay. Now you also have the option to change your sound effects for whenever someone does follow or drop a gift, a sub or anything like that. You can change the sound effects for it. You can adjust the volumes as well as the duration and text delay um, and as well as the animation. So you do have some custom customizations that you can actually do for this. Uh, now for me, like I said before, I like mine in the middle. So I'm gonna put this like there because I actually like this. So I'm gonna put this right here. 
and then all thing you got to do is just come and test it and there we go it's automatically going to show up right here so we now have in our alerts we also have our camera overlay so let's go ahead and let's add in a music overlay as well so in order for you to add a music overlay with Lightstream, you are going to have to come up here to the plus icon you're going to scroll down and you're going to have to click on song now from here you are going to have to link a music player to last.fm in order for your music to display your current songs info on your screen so there is going to be a link that's provided to you right here and you're going to click on it and then you're going to have to download the app now they have it for windows if you're on a computer they have it for android if you have an android phone as well as for apple if you're on an apple phone or tablet so you can download it here and it is compatible with spotify youtube soundcloud and all these other platforms down here below so if you want to add music you can go ahead and do that. And if you want a tutorial on how to actually set this up, let me know in the comments down below. Now, it is important to note that even though we have this overlay sitting here for the music, it is not going to display on your screen until you actually connect your music to the application. So therefore, you can have the overlay there, but as long as you're not playing any music, it's not gonna show up on your screen. But the moment that you do play music, it will pop up wherever you decide to place it. So we're going to leave this here for now because I'm not connecting the application to it just yet. But let's say, for example, we also want a goal. So if we want to add in a goal to our overlay, what we can do is come down to goal. We're going to come up to the top right hand corner and we can select either a followers goal or a sub goal. So let's go ahead and let's do a followers goal. And then we can place the followers goal anywhere that we choose. So for me, I think I'm going to put mine like maybe right here because I don't want to take up a lot of space. And then you can customize on how it looks. So we can hide the shadows. We can just do the progress bar. If not, you can do the whole thing. That's entirely up to you. You can change the background so you can make it completely transparent. And then you can change the font. So if you want like different fonts, you can change that as well right here. There's a lot of customizations that you can do. And then if you come back inside of the Lightstream Studio, you will see that the progress bar is sitting right here. And with that being said, that is everything that you're going to need to make your stream look a little bit more professional whenever you're streaming directly from your Xbox. So what we did here is not only did we add in our webcam overlay, but we also added in a followers goal. And if you want to add a subscriber goal, you can also follow the same exact steps to add in a subscriber goal as well. We've also added in our alerts so that whenever someone does follow us, you now have two options on how you're able to have that appear. So you can do the custom um, overlay or you can do what's built in directly inside of Lightstream Studio. And then now we also added in a starting soon screen as well as an intermission screen as well as a ending screen so whenever your stream starts up you're now able to control this directly from either your cell phone a tablet or a computer now there is a little bit of limitations that you are going to have when streaming from the free version of Lightstream studio one of them being the logo that's on the lower right hand corner so unfortunately you are going to have to stream with that logo another limitation you're going to have is that you're not going to be able to shrink your canvas size for your game so if you do end up getting the actual premium version you will be able to shrink this to fit any type of overlay that you want to add unfortunately you're not going to be able to add all types of overlays because of the free version so make sure you keep that in mind if you're thinking about streaming with Lightstream Studio. Now, lastly, you are going to have the limitation of streaming in 720p. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to stream to 1080p in the free version. So therefore, if you want to stream in 1080p, you're going to have to purchase the subscription.
now as you can see here on my screen the subscription is twelve dollars a month so i personally don't think that is a bad idea especially for those that is just now getting into the streaming space i don't think that that's a bad idea however i've shown you in this video that you do not have to have the description you can still stream in 720p with the overlays added on and so with that being said that is going to be all for today's video now if you made it to the end and if you want to learn how to multi-stream to kick twitch youtube or even facebook directly from your xbox console make sure you click on this video right here and i'm gonna walk you through step by step on how you're able to stream to those locations directly from your xbox with lightstream studio